Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to use extrusion to quickly create new grid entities. Today, I'm going to show you how to use extrusions on connectors and domains. Here we have a connector, and I would like to extrude it upward into a domain. So we go to Create, Extrude, Normal. And the first thing we could do is go to Boundary Conditions. Now this connector has two ends that I'm going to set boundary conditions on. I'll choose the left end and the right end. In the drop down menu there are several options. The default is splay. Let's talk about splay. Splay will grow the domain upward and have it, the ends mushroom out. And the way they mushroom out depends on the, what's called the splay factor. It's, it goes from 0 to 1. Uh, 0 is almost straight up and as you get closer to 1 it mushrooms out more so let's do let's make it really mushroom out. And of course, you have to push set boundary condition. Um, notice that uh, I don't see the growth arrows. Um, I want to make sure that it's growing upward, so I have to click on orientation, set plane, and that causes it to grow in the plane that I'm looking at. I'm going to run. Let's run this for 20 steps. Push run. And as you can see, it grew into a domain, and the edges splayed out. There are two other options for boundary conditions, and they are constant XYZ and symmetric XYZ. Let's do constant X. That's going to hold this end to a constant X value as it grows this way. It should grow straight up. So I'll set that boundary condition, push run. Let's do that again. And notice that only the right side, which was still set to display, mushroomed out. The left side held its value constant X. It did not waver left or right. So let's jump from connectors to domains. Here we have a 2D domain. As you can see, it's drawn in the X and Y plane. I would like to extrude it in the Z direction. So I select my domain, create, extrude, normal. As you can see, the arrows are pointing to where it's going to extrude. This is what I want. Boundary conditions. I now have four boundary conditions to deal with. Let's select all of the edges. Uh, as you see, it defaults display, which is what it did during the connector extrusion as well. There's a, there's a lot more options here besides splay, but I'm going to choose splay here because you've seen it work on the connector. You can experiment with these other options. We have to set a factor, 0.95, push set boundary condition, run. We'll do 20 steps as well. And as you can see, this mushroomed out during the extrusion. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.